Hi, my name's Nick, and uh, I made this video today to talk to you about what I call the real Travis picking. So the reason I made that distinction is uh, this, this term Travis picking gets thrown around a lot these days. And um, there's, I was searching some videos on YouTube and primarily what I found was a uh, guy showing a technique with thumb and two fingers, right? Nothing wrong with that, but to me, it's not the real Travis picking. Uh, the real Travis picking, I'm pretty sure, was named after the great Merle Travis. So if you don't know who Merle Travis was, you really ought to check him out. He was a hell of a showman, just a great player, had this beautiful, unique style, and it was almost like, um, it, sound, it always sound, reminded me of like if Django Reinhardt was a thumb picker, you know? It had, it had that beautiful sort of little bit of a gypsy feel to it, but um, he was primarily known for uh, the galloping guitar style, right? So this kind of thing. I'm just gonna play it slow so you, so you can watch my right hand. So I'm gonna go thumb, first finger, and then thumb again. So. So I, I also uh, threw in there a little, um, uh, what uh, this is kind of like a banjo roll that he would do. So he, I'm gonna play like a D7 chord here. So I've got C, the seventh in the, uh, here in the root. Then I've got D, the tonic, F sharp. I'm playing these two with, my, with one finger on my left hand. And then I'm having the D string, uh, the high E string open. So I'm gonna go, so thumb, thumb, first finger, thumb, thumb, uh, first finger, so. You can do that using uh, thumb and two fingers. You can go like, actually you need, you almost need three fingers to do it. Yeah, I gotta go thumb, one, two, thumb, one, three, with the right hand. get it pretty fast and um but then check this out this is the travis way right so he would do this he'd go just had a much smoother sound um the other guy that played that style and a lot of people play that style um but the other guy that that was to me one of the greats uh, was uh doc watson so Doc played somewhat like Merle, the right hand technique uh, for sure. She played thumb and one finger. And they, again, there's videos of Doc uh, on YouTube. And if, if you don't know who Doc is, man, go watch him. The guy was, so it's one of my all time favorite musicians, just beautiful sound and uh, his guitar sound and style and the vocals. And he's kind of like, a, almost like a music, uh, American music historian, uh, you know? So anyway, so Doc would do, rather than this kind of, uh, these kind of rolls, right, what Doc would do is something like, um, uh, like this, okay, so. So it'd be like this. His fast licks would be something like this. I kind of mopped that up, but anyway, um, it gives you an idea of, uh, of the doc style right hand too. There's a whole lot more to all of this. Uh, I'll make another video um, and I'll, I'll show like, for example, Travis never played a bar chord. So you'll never see Travis playing a bar chord like this or you know, this kind of rock style bar, bar chord. He always had the thumb in the root and um, the four notes on top. Or for a C chord, like instead of this C bar chord, he would play two notes in the root, 
the thumb, or the, sorry, the tonic and the and the fifth, and then like this, right, with the third finger. But you could get licks out of out of the shape, like. So he would do that a lot, um, and there's a whole bunch of other shapes, like. Uh, for example, this is, you know, this basic E7 chord, like a C7 chord, right? You move it up here. Well, he put his thumb on the root on the fifth on the B and then played a high B as well. So instead of doing this, it's the same notes, except he'd leave this, instead of playing an E here on the fifth string, he'd play a B in the root uh, on the sixth string. And then the rest of the chord would this right so you go and uh, there's a whole bunch of other uh shapes i figured out most of them and it, it's 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 really um it's kind of like its own language when you get it so anyway i'm gonna make more videos uh like this if you want to learn uh um, about this style i'm gonna put my email in the description you can send me an email uh, we can have a chat on Zoom, and if you want to do some lessons with me and take this further, uh, that would be great. Uh, I'll leave it up to you, and uh, but don't be shy. Uh, don't be afraid to send me an email, and um, I'm going to make lots of other videos, too. Uh, I want to talk about the thumb pick. Um, it's really important. It's, 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 for a lot of people, it's very difficult, but it doesn't need to be, and again, I'll explain that in another video. Um, and uh, I've also, I'm going to show the Chet Atkins style and uh, Chet Atkins, Tommy Emmanuel. And then there's the great Jerry Reed. If you don't know who Jerry Reed is, oh my goodness, man, this guy was just a guitar genius and um, just a beautiful style. But he played with a thumb pick and these two fingers. And I remember when I first learned that, I was like, holy cow, what the heck? But then when you learn his tunes, it makes sense. He doesn't do all his songs like that, but quite a few of them he plays uh, with these two fingers, with the index finger tucked in like that. And Chet Atkins used to call him the, the claw because <laughs> it looked kind of weird, though, you know, the right hand technique. But man, when you hear him play, it's just beautiful stuff. So I'm a, a huge Jerry Reed fan as well. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, send me an e email if you'd like to learn more about the real Travis Pickin, and I'd be glad to help you out with it. Okay? All right. Enjoy it.